both deliverable is we define the project using project charter so the project charter we write a problem statement the goal statement the scope of the project benefit of the project the project team who is going to be the project team members and the milestones where we write the completion dates for each phase so the problem statement defines the problem in the process so we say since last 6 months the average order fulfillment time is more than the target of 45 days by the order fulfillment process of abc company this has resulted in increased customer satisfaction decreased product orders and increased the operational cost so this is a problem statement which defines what is the problem in the process in the goal statement we define what are we going to achieve uh, the project team is going to achieve in next maybe uh, four months or six months so usually a, a green belt project is completed within four months and a black belt project is completed in six months so this is we are telling this is a green belt project so we say that we decrease the average order fulfillment time by 30% at the end of september 2022 so four month time has been given for the order fulfillment reduction so goal statement is written so that they way so we'll so the scope of the project is where the project process will focus on where we may not be able to focus on all the delay or all the uh, products so we try to focus on which are those products which is resulting in 80% of the delay so that is where a pareto principle is used where the scope of the project usually we try to focus on the main pain areas or main delay which is happening or main problems which is contributing so this is one way of defining a scope so we say we are focusing on 20% of the products resulting in 80% of the delay so we are trying to define what the project team will focus on when the index form so there are different ways of defining the scope this is one way of defining the scope using a pareto principle which we say that the, the project will focus on those 20% of the products which is resulting in 80% of the delay so it is uh, one scoping of the project benefit of the project as we have defined in the problem statement so we can say when we do a project what is the uh, benefit going to be this is a decrease in a customer dissatisfaction increase in customer order resulting in increase in revenue and less operational cost are going to be the benefit of the project and the milestones or the completion dates are usually defined by the uh, project team so it is up to the project team to define how much time they are going to take to complete each phases in four months so the four months need to be defined so the uh if i'm saying that we are completing the defined phase by 14 june then 14 july we are saying the measure phase in uh, one month time then one month for analyze phase then a 15 days time for improve phase by 28 august by two weeks we are planning to complete the improve phase and then one month for the control phase so it is up to the project team to define uh, how they are going to manage this four day four months and complete this project so there is deliverables are completion dates for each so that is how do we look into it so project team uh, is the name of the uh, name of the people who are going to be the uh, part of the project team so it is sponsor is the person who is sponsoring the project so it is called as a sponsor usually a senior management person or the chief executive officer who is sponsoring or giving the budget for doing the project becomes the sponsor and a champion is usually a person who is allocating the project usually a, a person responsible for six sigma implementation a senior management person who will be uh, responsible for all the six sigma projects so they are called as a champion so these people are usually identifying the projects and the scope of the project and who will be the project leader are usually defined by a champion so they are called the six sigma champions master black belt or otherwise called as mbb or mbb is master black belt uh, or they are called as a coach they are they're going to train the people and give those guidance for doing the project so where they coach the people whenever they require those hand holding so it is called as master black belt is mbb or the coach project leaders are the people who are going to lead the projects and it can be a green belt who is leading the project or the black belt who is leading the project 
the name of the person becomes the we write there and the team members who are the team members so usually three to four people are going to be a team members for doing the project along with the project leader so three to four people uh, becomes a project team uh, the team members and they do those project uh, in a timely basis so this is how a, uh, a minimum requirement on a project charter how to write it and how to systematically do it so uh, we'll be studying as a green belt we'll be going in detail about how to write a problem statement how to write a goal statement and how to define the scope and more details on the roles and responsibility of the project team members, we'll be seeing that. Uh, so this is just for your understanding, the project charter looks like this, and we define the problem statement, goal statement, scope of the project, benefit of the project, completion dates, or we call as the milestones of the project, and the name of the people who are in the project team.